everyone and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you all for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel thank you for your love and for your support i appreciate it if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever i upload a new video okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut an off shoulder jumpsuit five simple steps to cut an off shoulder jumpsuit so this is like a tutorial a beginner's tutorial so i'm just going to break it down in five simple ways so with that if you don't know how to make a jumpsuit before after this video you will be able to know how to cut and sew a jumpsuit okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to i'm going to just go ahead and fold out my fabric before i start reeling out the the steps that we're going to be taking okay so if you want to register for our online class you can see my number scrolling through the screen just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll give you the details of the classes that we have available so let's just get started okay so these are the fabrics that i'm going to be making use of so you can see the picture i showed you out earlier on so this this fabric is like a chiffon fabric it's a little bit soft so this is three yards and then i have about half yard of black fabric that you can use any black of your choice that we're going to use to make the straps okay guys so the first step that we're going to be making now is we're going to cut the off shoulder pattern so that's like the first step so the measurement that i'm making use for this dress the bust is 34 inches the under bust that this is the bust line is 34 inches the under bust line is 26 inches and then my half cut that's from shoulder to my half cut is 18 inches so you know since it is an off shoulder so we're going to be taking out five inches from all of our measurements so you see that's our five inches this is 10 inches for our nipple points on that bust and then half cut so these are the measurements for the top part so when we get to the, the trouser part i'll explain that part so let's just take it one step at a time so it is simple so i'll just keep the back pieces Let's work with the front piece. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to insert all of my measurements. So my shoulder measurements that I'm making use of is 14 inches. So I'm just going to mark 7 inches here. So I'll add half of an inch to it. And then from this point like this, you know we took out half of an inch. So my armhole, I'm making use of 8.5. So that 8.5, I'm just going to go ahead and mark it like this. So it's, it is a simple process. So for the, the neckline, if you notice, it is a straight neckline. So for the neckline, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark it like this. I'm going to reduce my shoulder measurement by one inch. So now I have six inches here. So from that six inches, I'm just going to float it into this part. So you can make it how curvy, however you want. So mine, so I just want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to blend this part. So I'll have something like that arc. So that is what I'm doing. So I've reduced the shoulder measurement. So there are some parts in this video that I'm going to be making emphasis. And then the other part, I'm just going to brush through. So that's our core for our chest. So the next measurement we're going to insert now, we're going to insert our bust measurement. So you divide your bust measurement into four. So when you divide according to your own, you add the measurement. And then I'm going to add 2 inches for stitching allowance. You can add 1 inch if you want. So my under bust measurement, I'm going to mark 6.5 because my under bust measurement, like I said, is 26. So I divide into four and then I'm going to add. So I hope you can see it. I'll still add my two inches sewing allowance. And then from there, I'm just going to connect it like this. And then my waist measurement, that's the waist measurement that I'm making use of is 28. So which is, you divide it into four. And then I'll add my allowance and then i'll mark it like this so this is all for our top body so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take the back piece 
I'll place it together like this, making sure that I have zipper allowance for the back. And then I'm going to cut both of them together. So you can see what we have for the chest part. So we are done for cutting out the upper bodies. So we're going to go to the next step right now. So for your dart, you can insert your dart. Just use your half of your bust fan measurement. So mine, I'm just going to make use of four inches. I'll just put a notch here. It's just a waist dart. See what we have. So you see the top part, the cover. It's looking beautiful. So you add your dart just like I explained. Okay, guys. So the next step, the step two, is cutting out our trouser or the pants. So you can call it trouser. You can call it a pants. So that's what this second step. And then I'm going to be explaining some things before we continue so the full length of our of this jumpsuit is actually 46 inches sorry 40 okay guys so the next step is cutting out the trouser or the pants let's just stop it that's nonsense it's true not it? okay guys so the second step now is cutting out the trouser or the pants so that's the second step. So before we continue, I'm just going to do a little bit of explanation. So the full length of this, our jumpsuit is actually 64 inches. So you remember the top part, we made it, it was 18 inches. And then the trouser part, I'm going to be making it 45 inches. So you can me just measure, when you're measuring your clients, measure the trouser separately and then measure the top part. So when you join 18 plus 45, you're going to have 64 inches. So now the trouser, we're just going to do our regular trouser of... 40, sorry, of 45 inches. So that's what we are going to be doing. So I have some measurements already lined up here. <clears throat> okay, so the first measurement I have here is my hip line measurement, which is 9 inches, just the same way we do for skirts, it's like standard. And then the next line is crouch measurement. So for you to know your crouch measurement, the hip measurement that I'm making use of for this palazzo jumpsuit is actually 40 four inches so when you divide 44 into four you're going to have 11 inches so i added one inch to it for ease so that is what landed me my crouch measurement so i'm using 12 inches for my crouch so you see it is very simple to calculate it so that is why i have my 12 inches here. and then my knee measurement that's from your waist to your knee i'm making use of 20 inches and then the full length like i said earlier on is 45 inches and then i have added two inches for allowance to fold the down part. So these are the measurements. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to insert our measurements. So this jumpsuit is actually a free jumpsuit, like a, almost like a palazzo. So we're going to be making it very free. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to the waistline. This is my waistline. I'm going to mark 1.5 inches. I'm just marking it inwards. I just came in inwards, 1.5. And then from this part, I'm going to this is my hip line. So from this part, I'm just going to take it to the edge of my hip, just like I'm making like a curve. So you can see, just create that curve. And then from this part, depends on how wide you want your palazzo. If you want it like a boot cut palazzo, you can come in as much as you want and then open up. So it depends on what you want. So mine, I think let's come in a little bit. So we can come in a little bit with about 1.5 inches and then we'll come like this. And then from this part, we're just going to take it down straight. So I'll just make use of my stretch now. Okay, so that is better. And the next thing, we're going to add our waist measurements. So the waist that we're making use of for this trouser, just the same waist, the same round waist, which is 28 inches. So you divide 28. Can you divide it into four? You insert your measurement so my measurement i'm going to bring in it this way so i'll add i'll add my waist circumference and then i'm going to add one inch that i'm going to make use of for that because i'll take out that from this jumpsuit so i'll add my that measurement here like this and then i'm going to add one inch to stitch it so i'm adding it on this side already so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to mark my hip measurement. So like I said earlier on, my hip is 44. So when you measure 44, you divide 44 into 4, you have 11 inches. So I'm going to come to this part. I'm going to add 2 inches allowance to my hip. 
So note, this measurement is already measured freely. So the, the actual measurement, the hip measurement, the actual hip measurement is actually 40 inches. So because I don't want it to be tight, so that is why I made it 44. So please, I want you to put that into consideration. So from this, my allowance point, I'm just going to take it to those points like this, to the hip point. So on the lap measurement, depends on how wide you want your trouser to be. So mine, I want it to be as wide as 30 inches. So I'll divide that measurement into two. And then I have 15 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead like this. I have my 15 inches. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take that 15 inches. Depends on how wide you want the down parts of your trouser. So I can repeat what I have here, that which is my 15 inches. I'll just bring it to the down part of my trouser. And then I'll add it up. So I want it to be straight, equal cut. So from this point like this, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. So for the stitching allowance, this little half of an inch that I have here is enough for me to stitch because it is not a fitted trouser. So I have excess. So I don't have any problem. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'll cut it out. Before cutting out, let's look the waist part a little bit. So I'm just going to come to this point like this. I will slope it down a little bit with about half of an inch and then I'll cut out the front part. Okay, so you can see I finish cutting. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place this front piece on the back and cut out. So you see palazzo wide leg pants is very easy. Okay, so I'll place the front piece on the back piece. So the only thing, the only little adjustment I'm going to be making on this waist side, I'm going to add one inch on this side. And then I'll just float it into the hip line. And then the whole of this right side is going to be the same. I'm not adding any allowance. So on those parts, I'm going to add 1.5 inch to the top part for the back. So from this point, I'm just going to float it into the 1.5 inches. So once I float it in, this next part, I'm going to add 2 inches to read. That's for the crouch part. So I need to readjust a little bit. So I'm going to add 2 inches because I don't want it to be tight. So after adding that 2 inches, I'm just going to go ahead. I'll mark it to that point. And then on this side, because I'm going to add a zip to this jumpsuit so i'm just going to add on this part like this so there's a way that i normally do it the same two inches you can from that two inches do your allowance that's super allowance but i'm going to add half of an inch to it so to ensure that it is not tight so i'm adding 2.5 inches on this side now i'm just going to go ahead that 2.5 inches i'll mark it to the down point so this part also, you are going to extend that 2.5 inches because I'm adding a zip to the back. So, but if you don't want to add that extra from that 2 inches, you can still sew out your zip. It will still be okay. So I'll mark it like this and then just float it into the waist line. So I hope you can see it. And then on this part like this, I'm just going to reduce this. I don't want to use the same 2 inches, so I'm going to reduce the side. I'm going to reduce it with about... 1.5 inch so i'm just going to use that 1.5 inch on the side like this and then i'll mark it to the down part so you can see what we have so that's just how simple it is so i'll go ahead and cut it out right now so i'll go ahead now add my dart i'll just notch my dart point so the next thing i'm going to add a pocket to this Okay, so for the pocket part, so I've, I added it already, but I'm just going to explain it. So this is the front piece. So this is the first one, and then this is the second front piece. So for the pocket, if you want to add a pocket to it, this is the other side. So I'm going to come, you're going to measure how wide you want the pocket to be. So this is about 1.5 inches. And then the length from this point to this point is about 8 inches. So all you are just going to do is after measuring the width, you are just going to make a curve to how deep you want the pocket to be. So mine is 8 inches. That's from the waist to the hip 
almost like a hip line, which is eight inches. And then I'm going to go ahead and curve it out like this. So this is for the front piece. So the next thing we're going to do now, we are going to this third step. And we're going to be doing that on our machine. Okay, so now we're going to start a stitching. Then I'm going to stitch the pocket. So for the pocket, you just cut out fabric that is a little bit longer than what you cut out. And then this is the right side of my... This is the right side. I'm going to place it like this. And then I'm going to stitch it around. So after stitching it, you're going to trim it out. And then you're going to have something like this. And then I'm going to take this now. So this is the curve of my pocket. So you can see it's sitting nicely. And then I'm going to fold it from the inside. I'll bring it outside back. So I'll secure it down like this so you can see how it is looking. And then the down part, I will join it on the under part. So after doing that, the next thing now, we're going to stitch the top. That's like the third step. I'm going to join the up front to the up back. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fix the strap now. So when we get back to our cutting table, I'm going to use my mannequin to explain how you will measure out your strap. So don't just worry. When we get there, I'll explain. So this is the center. So I fix one of those straps. I'm going to explain how to fix it. So you take the center part of your top body. So that's the middle part of your body. This is the, this is the, this is the right side of my body. So I just wanted to know this is the right side, and then this is the wrong side. So this is the middle. So I'm going to take my strap like this from this point like this. I'm going to fix it from the wrong side. I'll fix it around like this to this point and then I'll turn it out to the right, right side. So I'm just going to go ahead. So from this point where I stopped the other one, I'm going to start stitching it like this. So you can sew it, you can turn it out before you do this if you want to. But my once I'm done, I'm going to give it a top stitch. Okay, so the next thing now, before we continue, I'm going to show you how to measure out your strap. So for the strap, you are going to put it on this center point like this, and then measure up to this point, like this. So once you measure up to this point, what you have, and then from here, you measure up to this point. So mine, when I did from here to here, I had 22 inches, or the other hand, you can measure it like this, this way, that you can go ahead, you can measure it like this and then measure like this. So I have 22 inches for mine. So that's what I'm going to use for my strap. That's 22 on one side and then 22 on the other side. So now we'll go back to the machine and I'll go and stitch. Okay, so for the strap, so the next thing, what you're going to do, so you measure the center part of your body. So you can see mine, I've measured it out. So what I'm going to do now, take one of the straps like this. So this you can actually sew and turn, depends on what you want. And then the length of that's the width of my my strap so that you can measure it. So I'm making it of about three inches. So from this point, I'm going to stitch it along this line, and then I'm going to stop it on this part. So this is the right side. So I'm facing the right side of my strap also. And then I'm going to just like use it to turn out the neckline. So that's just basically what I'm doing. Use it to turn the neckline. So once I get to that center point, I'm going to cut it out and then trim out all of my excesses. So at the end of the day, the strap is going to look like this. So you see how it is looking beautiful. So this is one part. So this other side, I'm going to sew it and turn it inward. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to repeat it on this other side. Okay, guys. So this now brings us to our next step, which is joining our front up bodies to the front down body so before doing that i'm going to join my front and trouser i'm going to join it along the crotch line 
So before joining them together, so I'll just go ahead, I'll join it downwards. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to match the dots together. So that's the way you're going to join it. That it's going to be neat and look good. So I'm going to make sure that my dots, that's the dot points that they join together. Let them sit together and then I'm going to go ahead and join it. So this same thing I did to the front, I'm going to repeat it for the back part. Okay, so now we have done the fourth, we have done the third and the fourth point. The third point, which is join the up front and then the down front. That's join both of them together, just like I showed you, match your dots lines together. And then for the back also, which is the fourth point, you join the up of the back and then the, the down part. So I've done that already. So the last and final point is for us to join the full bodies together. That's the back and the front. So in doing that, we are going to match it on the crouch area. So I'm just going to hold my crouch like this on the crouch point and then I'll stitch it from one end like this to the end and then I'll do the same thing on this side. So after doing that and then after doing that I'll join the sides together. After joining that, this strap, just I showed you how to measure it, I'll take it to the back. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then just tack it down to the 22 inches that I used. So I'll just go ahead and do that and then come back and show you how it is looking like. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, so you can see how our jumpsuit is looking like. So for the strap, if you notice, the the chest part, this the mannequin's chest is a little bit smaller. So, and then for the strap, if you notice, I have not attached the, the strap. So if you want to, for this, I would advise for you to attach it before you attach it, that before you secure it down, make sure that your client is ready before you do that. So you get the actual fitting. So that is why I've not done this. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. So you see our pocket, so it came out really beautiful. So you just take them to the back like that and then you attach them nicely. So thank you so much. So you see our pocket, it is looking really good. Thank you so much. So if you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you now.